The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is rated E for Everyone by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we have rescued Epona from Lon Lon Ranch's evil grasp of Mr. Ingo. We have traded in our pocket cuckoo for Kojiro, and we got a larger bow quiver. In this episode, I am going to do a little bit of the side quest that I had mentioned at the end of last episode, which is we're going to run to the Lost Woods to figure out why Kojiro is wanted there. And we're probably going to do this up until a certain point. And then from there, we're going to stop until we do some more questing. And then we will resume the side quest that I am on right now. In terms of doing the bottle, I think I will also save that for another episode. Just because there's so much to do and I don't really want to have too big of a gap between dungeons. Excuse me. In addition, the big pose side quest is something that will most likely take up an entire episode all on its own. Because I don't remember where all 10 of the pose are. So I'm going to want to research where those are. Yes, I am still doing the dungeons blind. But if I'm going to do the big pose side quest, I don't want you guys waiting 7 episodes for me to complete that. Anyways, when we come into the Lost Woods, we hear a crow. And that's normally a sound only reserved for three outcomes. The first one is it's daytime, so the crow would signify that it is now morning. When you pull out a pocket cuckoo or the cuckoo from the child, uh, from your childhood when Malin first gives you a cuckoo. And when Kojiro is near his brother. Or brother. Near, is near Andrew's brother, who is this man right here. No response. He's sleeping. Kojiro? Why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You. You must be a nice guy. You must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy. Please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry, okay? You got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to Kakariko Potion Shop quickly. We have three minutes to make it all the way from here to Kakariko Village. And if you had planted a bean that is on the ridge inside the Lost Woods, you can save a little time by hopping on it, then hopping off onto the bridge. But it's, I mean, it's only been 15 seconds and I'm already in the same spot. It basically just cuts that time from 15 to maybe 5. Anyways, we want to jump on to our horse, Epona. Epona will basically make the side quest missions so much easier because now instead of running there by hand or foot, we are now running there by horse. So we're gonna quickly make it all the way back. There is still... Interesting. Um, I didn't notice a yes uh, yesterday. I'm playing on the same day as the previous recording. I didn't notice in the previous recording, but when Epona runs, there seems to be a bit of vibration to the controller. Which is an interesting feature to me because it means that they're really giving you the feel of what Link is feeling when he's doing stuff. Anyways, um, the best way to the potion shop when you're an adult is to head up the ramp here and go behind the... I'm going to call it the item shop. The one with the potion symbol. I actually don't know what kind of shop this is. Potion shop. But that's not the old hag the guy was referring to. He's talking about the old hag in this red building. 
as soon as I can get up and in. What's a mysterious, what a mysterious smell. You must have something. That bum. He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the lost woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. What an interesting comment. Anyways, now that we have the medicine, we're gonna jump off of the railing and make our way back to the Lost Woods. Instead of making you guys watch the entire thing and me running back and forth between the two areas that we've been to before, we're going to cut to the Lost Woods between transitional screens. So when I go down here, I'll be in the Lost Woods for you guys. See you in a moment. And we're back in the Lost Woods. And when we come in here, we'll see that the guy is missing, and instead we have the girl Thotto from our childhood. Now, I'm not going to speak with her because she'll say the exact same thing as when we give her the medicine. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody that... Anybody... <clears throat> Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. <laughs> that medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Get it back. Sure. You returned the odd potion and got the poacher's saw. The young punk must have left this behind. <laughs> Are you going to be too? <laughs> Are you going to be too? <laughs> Hmm. I thought Navi was gonna give some input on who she actually was. Anyways, now is the perfect time as I'm traveling to the next spot for the Poacher's Saw, which, according to our map, is the Gerudo Valley. I'm gonna tell you about some beta information involving Fado. In a beta build, or not even a beta build, in the planning of this game, there was going to be some additional dungeons. And one of them was called the Wind Dungeon, or Wind Temple. And from that temple, there was going to be another sage, obviously the Wind Sage, and that sage was Fado, the blonde Kokiri of Kokiri Forest. Now, that is why she has a different character design than the other female Kokiris, because she was going to have a more important role than the side quest that she was part of. Epona, you jumped over fences twice this height. Anyways, I found that really interesting because in a later game, Wind Waker, the Wind Temple makes a return, or its debut appearance, because there was not enough time to fully develop the Wind and the other temples that they were going to have in mind, including an Ice Dungeon and an Earth Dungeon, an Ice Temple and an Earth Temple. And the reason why I know that's those three is because on the Water Medallion, which is found in the Vast Lake, it looks like a snowflake. And when we go to the area that refers to the um, ice temple, it is completely frozen over. And then the earth temple was the other temple designed in Wind Waker, which leads me to believe that if they had the wind temple, then they also had an ice temple, uh, an earth temple in mind for this game as well. Anyways, we have this guy here, and if we speak to him, I am a master craftsman who 
Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo Fortress to become thieves. Hey you, if you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? Well, we're not going to the fortress just yet, but I will give you back your saw. Hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My big Goron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yes. Good, kid. Thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyways. You traded the poacher's saw for a broken Goron sword. Visit Big Goron to get it repaired. And that's as far into the side quest that we'll be going for now. Because once we give the Big Goron sword, or the Big Goron, the broken Big Goron sword, we have to proceed. Mm. Actually, no, there is one more step we can do, which is the Big Goron item. We give him the Big Goron, broken Big Goron sword, and we get an item from him. But from there, we'd have to have a lot of stuff set up so that it flows smoothly. And I'd rather not, um, what's the words I'm thinking of? I don't want to go too far out of line with the setup of the rest of this side quest because there's still one more area we'd have to visit and slightly correct. Either that or we get 40... 40? Yeah. 40 gold skeletalas and get the uh, a larger wallet. Now, I'm no mathematician, but getting... I mean, getting 10 more skeletalas probably would not be that difficult, thinking about it. Speaking of, though, we are going to stop in at Kakariko Village now that we have 30 gold skeletalas, if I haven't already gotten it. Because I'm actually blanking if I did. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't believe I did. Once again, powerful yawns this morning. We're going to stop in at the Gold Skeletal House. And get the item there. Then we'll start ascending uh, Death Mountain and proceed with the main quest. So... What do we get from Gold Skeletalas? I'm thinking it's Bomb Chews, if I remember correctly. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Oh. I got my numbers incorrect. Okay, so that changes a bit of my plans a little, maybe. Where can I get rupees quickly? Hmm. Uh, I can't think of where to get rupees fa- Oh wait, actually I do. There are some bombable walls that I didn't break open on the path to Death Mountain and they carry some pretty nice stuff. So we got more Tektites, they will be defeated in one sword swing, if I was actually good at swinging my sword. Been a while since we had to swing around some bombs. Not what I was expecting for a reward, but that should be fine. Uh, just trying to think of where else I can get some money. 
There is the second chest in Goron City, so we'll stop in there as well. Yeah, I think that should be good. Okay, so we have this bombable wall here. Which has this chest. 50 rupees. I think there's a secret here. Which does not open from bombs. So, we have a ring of rocks. If I remember correctly, if it's not bombs, then it is this song. That opens up secret holes. Which I'm correct. Now, what is inside the box? Huge rupee 200. Now, does that put us over? Yes, it does. So now I could buy the red what? Red, red fire. Blue fire. So I guess I will actually continue with the main side quest of uh, Adult Link. But I do want to get one last item since we're already here. The best way to do this is actually using a bomb chew because it will run into this small rolling Goron. How could you do... How, how could you do this to me? <laughs> your, your Goron's Ganondorf servant got nowhere to run. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure that's gonna be like a bad, like, oh my god, you use that song. It's like the funniest thing I've ever heard for characters. Hear my name, hear my name and tremble, hear my name and tremble, I am, um, you, hero of the Gorons. Yes, you are me. Hero of the Gorons. What? Your name is also, um, you? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero, um, you. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me, um, you, after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Um, you, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend. Um, you of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad Darunia went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boo -boo -boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? L let's ask about the Gorons. Boo -hoo. You better try calming... Okay, let's ask about the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! Destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. If it's a myth, it can't be true. If it's a legend, it might be true. I know, because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Boo-hoo! You better try to calm him down. Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. Well, my dad was out. God, I'm terrible with yawning today. I'm so sorry. Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, um, 
you. I'll give you this heat resistant tunic. You got a gore. You got a Goron tunic. This heat resistant tunic is adult sized, so it won't fit a kid. Going to a hot place, don't worry. Or whatever. I missed the last two words. Clicked A too quickly. Anyways, what that means is that we actually have the ability to change colors. This is not the first game that introduced this mechanic, but it is the first game that introduced the ability to switch back and forth between tunic colors. So instead of being locked in with uh, damage resistance, uh, being in half with the white tunic or the red tunic, or with the blue tunic, uh, white tunic and red tunic of the original Zelda game, or the blue male and red male of... Uh, a Link to the Past, this is the first game that allows you to go back between different colored tunics. Though, why would you ever go back to the green Kokiri tunic is beyond me, it has nothing special. Now first I am going to come this way because of this, Ninja. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. You have learned the bolero of fire. Um, you. I'll see you again. Fire. Ninja. And he's gone. Now, I'm not going to proceed any further this way because now we're going to go back. I wanted that song before we proceeded. Because if I didn't, then I'd have to climb all the way back up to the top of the mountain. And I don't really want to do that. So instead, we're just going to use that as a shortcut in order to come back to the volcano quicker um, for when we start the dungeon. The fire temple. Now somewhere up here was our escape route, which is here. And the reason why I wanted to come back up to the summit of Death Mountain is because over here, we have Biggeron. Oh no. My brother opened a new store. It's Medigoron's blade store. However, I am better at making blades. Hylian Carpenters. Praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. Well, I mean, we did get a broken sword from a carpenter, so let's take a look. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yes. You checked in the Big Goron Sword and received a prescription. Go see King Zora. Now, I am going to continue with the side quest, as decided now that I have 300 rupees and I can buy blue fire. That is going to be continuing in the next episode, so I will see you guys then. If you like this video, 
leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, like that, mash that like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Master Quest content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.